Well, hello, hello, friends. Here we back again for another episode of Space Engineers in our crashed red ship on the moon with Pirates World. In the last episode, we did a little bit of lighting work and um, decided that I, I did a bit of brainstorming and I've decided I don't like the little lights on those little corner tower thingies. I don't know what you'd call them. Thingies, that, that's what I'll call them. So, I had did a bit of brainstorming. I wanted to do um, a searchlight. Now, what I could possibly do instead is a couple of searchlights. And I had a little bit of a thought. So, yeah, bear with me. I know it's scary me thinking and everything, but um, bear with me. And I think this will look rather cool. So if I go to the ser um, search and empty out a bit of my inventory, now what do I have a lot of that I don't need? Uh, probably computers, actually. Yeah. So I'll put away 40 of those. I'll put them here. Okay, that should give me enough room to grind down those those lights that I put up. So, <clears throat> here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of these. Just enough room. Okay. And then, we'll get our little corner pieces. And I want to do these in the grey, the dark grey. So we go like so. And we can give ourselves... So we've got the half wall down there, and we'll have a little bit of top coverage. You need to go out to here. Then start putting them along this way. Oh, hate when it does that. Luckily, it's only moon gravity. So I've cleared up a bit more room. So now I can get rid of these. Oh. Okay, and back to the these pieces. Okay. And we can still use this as a landing pad as well. But I think it's just going to give it a bit of an extra cool look. I'm doing this slightly because these are hard to kind of line up correctly. There we go. We'll grind down that one that fell down. Okay, and now what I can do is put in the rotor I wanted to put in. And we can put it on the corners. So put it just there. Just there should be fine. It still should be able to turn, yep. We put one there. And I'll weld these up first. Hopefully. And of course I need large steel tubes. Yeah, large steel tubes. Alright. And steel plates. Oh my god. 
Well, let's get the large steel tubes first. got two. Huh, that's an issue. So I'll need to produce some because I'd be buggered if I'm going to let's get twenty. Buggered if I'm going to go get those from the um uh the those large iron thrusters for the moment anyway. There we go. 22 and 63 steel plates. Should be enough for now. So there's one rotor done. Another one. And then, go back to five. And kind of cover these up a little bit. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Like so. Little triangle pieces. So we hit six. So these can be a little search towers, and what I can do is maybe even put a couple of ladders, you know, like here and here. You could just give it that little search tower look. Could be rather cool. But for now, we'll just armor these in. Hmm, thinking about this. No, that, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Need more steel plates. No worries. So we don't need those steel tubes anymore. And so we go to our large cargo container, these back, take these and weld up the rest. Now, it doesn't look like a cat, the building. <laughs> so, that's the added bonus as well. Energy low. Oh well. More energy required. There we go. So look at that from the front. And that looks way better. So now, say if we're under attack, you know, you can get your rifle out, which I don't have on me. You got a little bit of cover now. A little bit more cover. So it's a good, I think that's going to be a good little defensive thing. Hell yeah. And with these, like I said, put a cu um, couple of ladders. Yeah, a couple of ladders up. Look quite good. And, um, yeah, be able to stand up behind the, the searchlights. So I'll be putting those up in a moment. Just get our energy top up. How's our hydrogen going? Eh, it's not bad.
So hop out again. And we go to where do we have spotlights? Uh, got so much in my toolbar right now. There it is. So we need steel plates to start off with. And we put those on top of the rotors. Might put them. I'll face one backwards and one forwards. Yeah, I think so. So it's going to end up looking really, really cool. So again, we need two more large steel tubes, a bunch of construction components, small steel tubes, yada yada yada. Let's go tub, and that should bring us up what we need. Put those back. And just give me, I don't know hundred of those. Um, do we need computers? Oh, why not? Don't know, don't know if it needs motors. Let's go small steel tubes. I'm pretty sure it needed those. No, it was interior plates and bulletproof glass. Okay. So we need eight bulletproof glass one two three four five six seven eight and large cargo container Glass. That should do it. Now we want these nice and bright, as bright as pol as we possibly can. Now there will be only two spotlights on the base. I don't plan on doing any more. So then what we do, we go into any any cockpit, you could, you, as long as it's connected to the base, and hit K, and look up, Spotlight. So these, these are the two that are connected to the rotor. So we go to Control, we want a high radius and uh, not that high in intensity, probably a three, no blink, no blink offset, and that'll be fine. So then we go to our rotor, and fortunately we can see one of them, but we want to select both at the same time. So we want a velocity, we want a fairly slow velocity, so so probably four, if we can get four, let's see. Perfect. So now we hop out and we have a couple of spotlights that is awesome.
So searching out, you know, sweeping the uh, the yard here, keeping an eye on everything. In okay, case so there are any enemies that turn up, <laughs> that looks really really cool. So yeah, I am really happy with that. Really happy. So now, uh, what I can do is we can put some lighting up along the edge here. But before I do that, I'd really like to cover up some of this section. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we've got the steel plates. I do. No, we don't. Okay. We'll have to get steel plates. And actually, I think, look, look let's do the lighting first. And we'll do that back section last. So, I oh, don't need production. I need... Large cargo container. And so then what I need is just construction components. We could do some lighting. Um, let's see. Yeah, probably not like that. Just use the standards, I think. Standards will be fine. So I'll go every second one. Same here. Oh, that didn't work. Hmm. Try every third one then. section. Okay. Make sure we haven't grinded anything here. And so we'll go back to four and then hit five. Let's try this again. Every third. One, two, three. One, two, three. That didn't work either. Hmm. Alright, new approach. So five, and let's try it this way. So every second and then I'll have a gap of two. That's fine. So then over here... One... Two... And that uh, ship's in the way. God damn it. So we've got to unlock here. Make sure our dampers are on. Okay, hop out. Hit five. And 
like that. So now they're placed, we can now park the ship back again. It will slowly, very, very slowly burn through hydrogen if I left it hovering there, so I don't want to do that. Eight, and we're locked again. So now what we can do with those lights is if we go in back into the cockpit. Don't know why I hopped out, but yeah. Anyway, so back into the cockpit, and okay, look for anything with incomplete. And I want to have these as kind of little landing lights. So, I'll leave everything else as is, but I want to give them a kind of industrial look, kind of. So if we take this to about... a hundred. We'll give it a nice industrial orange kind of glow. And same thing, no, good blink, uh, blink interval is... Uh, was it interval? Yeah, blink interval three seconds. Three seconds. Okay. So we hop out and we should have... I think we need steel plates for these, don't we? Nope. Okay. Turn out off our lights. Damn shame, actually. What? No, that's two. That, yeah, that is two. Oops, four. One, two. Yeah, I thought it was three. But it's not. That's fine. So if we look at it from above... Yeah, they're not too bright. Make that fine. Yeah, I don't want them too bright. We've already got the spotlights nice and bright, so... I think that looks rather cool. Now I'm wondering if the blinking light's causing my uh, shadow glitching issues. Not possibly. But, not much I can do about that. So, now, next we need to grab the steel plates to finish off the back section. We go into our inventory, go to L-A-R-G-E. Those there. We can at least place the blocks... Better turn my lights back on. We can at least place the blocks where we need them. Hmm. Do I really want to... Um, okay, I've got a much simpler idea. So we can hit 5. 
and we're going to hit uh, P. This will be a much simpler way of doing things. So we can go all the way down there. We can't quite reach that, so... Well, we won't be able to if... We cover it up too much. So we've got five. Put you there. Put you there. And you there. Beautiful. Now oh, I've just got a message from my uh, from the uh, Steam forums moderator Dan. He's quite a nice chap, by the way. If you haven't had the pleasure of speaking with Dan, very very friendly. Um, yeah, I don't know how he does it. He he sometimes he cops a pretty hard time doing what he does for the space engineers community and it is a very thankless task from what I've been observing I mean for the most part look the space engineers community very intelligent bunch um, that said they have been known to be rather toxic um, and it works both ways too. I'm not just saying, you know, people are rude or anything. There's some people who... Um, oh yeah, I already worked that out. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Got the message here. Yeah, hit uh, shift F1. And I was like, yeah, I worked that out in later episodes. So I'll reply to him when I'm, um, when I'm done here. Anyway. But yeah, as I was saying, the uh, Space Engineers community tend to be a very, very smart bunch, but, uh, yeah, they can get rather nasty. So we'll put that like so, and then that one like so, and that will fill it out nicely. There we go. That looks awesome. So then, you just keep going with these, like this. Straight down, very simple. Oops. Wrong button. Yep, that's it. World are up. So then I can just keep going with these straight into the side of the uh into the side there. You just have to watch it so you don't fall down here. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. I'm fine with that. So we'll finish off the other side and do much the same thing. So we hit 5. Go all as far down as we possibly can. Yeah, I should be able to reach these ones actually. Weld these up. Next, yeah, we've got the lorikeets out. How lovely! Shoot them, shoot them all. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Now, this one, I'm probably, I might keep it coming out a bit just to cover up that green section. Yeah, I think so. Oh, you son of a gun! Well. You get the idea of what I'm doing here anyway, so... 
Um, hmm. Yeah, well you get the general idea, so I'm going to continue doing that in the next episode. But for now, I think we'll leave it there. Oh, an unknown signal detected. How lovely. But I'm really happy with these um, searchlights I've built. And, um, yeah, I think we're just about done with the top. And we'll continue in the next episode. But as I always say, thanks for joining us, folks. As usual, until next time, take it easy. And bye for now.